Hello, this is Tobias Motschko and I would like to give you a brief idea about our recent study we performed at the University Hospital Heidelberg in Germany. In a former study, we found out that up to 20% of the students showed symptoms of burnout during their final year education. Based on that, we wanted to talk. We wanted to explore final year medical students' stressors and their coping strategies at their transition to the clinical workplace. Therefore, we set up a qualitative semi-standardized interview study with final year medical students during the internal medicine rotation. In a qualitative content analysis of students' impressions of stress-provoking and easing factors, we were able to classify main categories. The first category is about perceived stressors and provoking factors. This includes, for example, routine activities, organizational issues or role conflicts. The second main category is about stress-induced consequences and contains personal consequences and consequences for professional conduct and attitude. Main category number three contains personal and external resources for dealing with and the prevention of stress. The subcategories are about communicative, behavioral or external resources. The fourth main category, which is not shown here, includes final year students' suggestions for workplace improvement. As a conclusion, we want to point out that final year medical students perceive different types of stress during their final year medical education. Depending on the coping strategies the students have or don't have, their transition to medical wards can be perceived as stressful. As supervision, feedback and coping strategies played an important role in the students' perception of stress, final year medical education curricular development should focus on these specifically. Thank you for your attention and I hope you are interested in reading our article. Please feel free to contact us in case of any questions.